all coins are region of energy, which is usually written this way. And then if there's any heat given off, it's on the right hand side. So potential energy initial plus kinetic energy initial equals potential energy final plus kinetic final plus heat. And in this example, it's such a long distance away from the surface of the Earth, you have to use the minus G M M over D initial plus one half M V initial squared. Kinetic energy is always one half MV squared. Potential energy final would be minus G M M over T final plus one half MV final squared, which is what we're looking for. And then the heat term, which will end up being zero because they said it was frictionless. So just to do this one quickly, <coughs> given the example that I had, I had version B of the test. It was question five. So if you've got this version, then you've got exactly the same numbers that I'll be talking about. In this situation, it said that the object was initially 6,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. So the distance from the center of the Earth to where the object is, is the radius of the Earth plus 6,000 kilometers. So it's really the radius of the Earth, 6,000 kilometers, and then plus the radius of the Earth. So the distance above the Earth, 6,000 kilometers, plus the radius of the Earth, which is 6380 kilometers. But the only thing is, it has to be in meters. So it's 000 and 000. Okay, so you have to make sure that it's in meters. So 6 million plus 6,380 million. Okay, so 6,380,000. You have to add the two. Um, the G up here is, um, what is it? 5.98. Uh, 6.67, yeah. Times 10 to the minus 11. Mass of the Earth is 5.98. Times 10 to the 23. 24. Mass of the object is 1,400. And then the initial speed, it started to drop with zero speed. So it started to fall. This term right here is zero. So the whole term here is zero. And that equals the final, which is minus 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, all times 5.98 times 10 to the 24, times 1400, all over the new distance, the final distance. And the final distance is the radius of the Earth plus 1500 kilometers. So the radius of the Earth, which is 6380, but it's got to be in meters, plus it's located now 1,500 kilometers above the Earth's surface. So it's 1,500 kilometers, but you've got to have it in meters, okay? Plus one-half the mass of the object, 1,400, times the V final squared, the thing we're looking for. It's a frictionless situation, so this was zero. So there is no term for heat. If you go through and do the math, you could put 1,400 in, but if you recognize that 1,400 is in this term, this term, and that term, you could just divide each by 1,400, and you end up not having that term in there at all. Okay, so it's a simpler way of doing it. Now you just have to multiply this one term here by that one divide by this whole thing and same thing over here. It just makes it a little bit simpler. When you do that and crank it through, this term right here, minus 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 times that times that which is 1 now, divide by this, it turns out to be minus 4.51 times 10 to the 10. 
and that equals the other side, which is minus 7.08 times 10 to the 10 plus, oh, this person actually had the 1400s in, sorry, the final squared. So if you had 1400 in here and here and here, that's what you would have got here. Okay. If you divide by 1400, it'll end up giving you the same answer anyway. Okay, so with the 1400 here, here and here, that's what you get for this side and then these two on this side. If I go this term, bring it over to the other side, I've got minus 4.51 times 10 to the 10 plus 7.08 times 10 to the 10 is equal to 700 BF squared. So you just add those two, you're going to get a positive number, divide by 700, and you'll end up getting Vf squared is equal to 3.67 times 10 to the 7. And if you root that, you get the final speed as 6.06 .06 times 10 to the 3 meters per second. Okay, and like I say, this person had the 1400 in here, here, and here. So that's why they ended up getting the larger numbers here. But even if you eliminated the 1400 here, here, and here, you'll still get the same answer. It's just algebra. So you end up getting 6060 or so meters per second.